Big breaking update coming in from the top court. The Supreme Court has granted interim protection for two months to three journalists and asked them to approach the High Court for quashing of FIR lodged against them in UP. Supreme Court has said that it does not want freedom of press to be muzzled, but journalists should not approach it directly. Instead, they must approach the High Court first. So the top court has granted interim protection to three journalists and also said, very importantly, that they don't want freedom of press to be muzzled. The Supreme Court was hearing a plea by three journalists. Let me go across to my colleague Minakshi Bhanja for more. Minakshi, give us the details of what this petition was and what were some of the main observations made by Supreme Court. Well, uh, yes, uh, Tarima, you see, uh, we have often seen a trend where journalists uh, who have had FIRs re registered against them, in this case, they are, they are uh, three wire journalists uh, who knocked on the Supreme Court to uh, intervene, who seek the Supreme Court's intervention in a case of uh, the UP government lodging a fire against them. So the Supreme Court has uh, made it clear uh, that it does not wish to muzzle the freedom of the uh, speech or expression of uh, press, but uh, the journalists should avoid coming to the top court directly. Uh, instead, the Supreme Court today has uh, intervened and granted them protection from arrest for a period of uh, two months' time, but at the same time, as far as quashing of this FIR is concerned, the Supreme Court has said that they have to first knock on the doors of the Allahabad High Court for the same. So the trend of journalists uh, knocking on the doors of the uh, Supreme Court directly uh, and not instead uh, going to the relevant High Courts or the trial courts first uh, is something that the Supreme Court has frowned upon, Tanima. Right, Minakshi, thank you so much for joining us with that.